Today we're going to be taking a look at the e-trailer round A-frame trailer jack with top wine design. Its part number is TJA-2002-B. Now this jack's going to be a really good all-around, kind of a universal jack as long as you're in this weight capacity and you're looking for that top wine. Designed to fit many different applications and it's strong and sturdy. They build them real simply and real easy using Rather than gears, it's just going to use a nice long Acme screw and a nut down here. So very few moving parts that can get damaged. Now this system is going to offer real easy, smooth operation. Since we're not trying to mesh two gears together, you're not going to get that kind of that grinding feel that some jacks have. Also because it offers a really simple design, not a lot of moving parts, and all of those parts are located inside the tube of the jack. It's really resistant to weather and really very hard to damage. We've got an upright handle here on the top that's going to help us with raising and lowering. Again, very easy to do. The handle is a little, seems to be a little bit more robust than what you see on some of the typical 1,000, 2,000 pound area jacks. It's also going to have some grooves, so if your hands happen to be wet, you'll still be able to get a good hold on there without slipping off. Now, the handle itself is made out of a plastic material, and then all throughout, we've got a corrosion resistant coating on the rest of the handle. That way, we're not going to have to worry about the rusting and things like that. The fit and finish on the jack is something you'll notice that is also really nice. The welds are clean, they're solid all the way around, and we've got that black powder coat finish. So once we pair the inner and outer tube being powder coated, the corrosion resistance that we have on our handle setup, we shouldn't have to worry about any rust or issues like that for a long time to come. Something I like about the jack also is that we've got a groove here on the inner tube that matches up with the indention that's on the outer tube. So we don't have to worry about this rotating. Some jacks, as you crank them, the bottom rotates. This is gonna keep that in line. You see it's also pre-drilled with the hole right at the bottom of the inner tube. That'll allow you to attach either the caster style wheel or a foot plate if this is gonna be on a softer surface or if you're gonna to have to move it a lot. Those can be really handy to have. Now a few measurements we'll give you just to ensure this is going to fit properly on your trailer will be from the bracket or from the surface that you mount the jack to. When it's fully retracted, it's going to be about nine and a quarter inches to the ground. When fully extended, that's going to be about 24 inches to the ground. From that same mounting platform to the bottom edge of our handle, it's going to be about 13 and an eighth of an inch. And all the way at the very top of the handle, it's about 18 and a half inches. From the very center on the top of the jack to the outside edge of the handle is gonna be about six and three eighths of an inch all the way around. Now this jack's designed to fit a wide variety of different trailers. The main requirements are gonna be a two and a quarter inch hole for the outer tube to fit down through. And the three bolt pattern is pretty standard on your utility trailers, campers, things like that. Now this is also going to be the OEM replacement for the Top Wind Ram Jacks Series 2000. So you can get the exact thing that's on your trailer, get it put back on there if it's been damaged or whatever might have happened. Now of course the old jack will need to be removed so we can get to the mounting location. As you can see we're using a couple of jack stands here to support the front of the trailer. You could also simply leave it connected to your truck. We'll slide our jack down in position. If you rotate it, there's a point your holes won't really line up. You can see at this point we got these two lined up. This isn't the right one. So you just want to turn it until all of your holes line up. Then you'll want to inspect the hardware that you've removed. If it looks to be in good condition, you can reuse it. If you need to get replacements, though, you want a minimum 3 8 diameter bolt, minimum grade 5. Just be placing those down through. Then we're going to secure those on the bottom using another flat washer, another lock washer, and a nut. Now we'll get these snugged down and torqued to the specification listed in your instructions. And that's going to complete our look at the e-trailer round A-frame trailer jack, part number TJA-2002-B. So now that we've seen the uh, Ram top wine jack, what do you guys think? Looks like a well-made jack based on, on the description there, what we saw. Seems yeah. like a pretty solid, straightforward 2,000 pound jack, yeah. yeah it's economical, yeah. probably the one you see on most of your um, uh, mass-produced 
utilities type trailers. Yeah, like I said, you, everybody takes these jacks or they'll probably eventually you're going to bend it, you're going to break it, you're going to do something. So this would be a good adequate replacement for that. Yeah, not too expensive so that the next time you do it and you aren't breaking the bank to replace it again, right? Mm -hmm. um, and you get the direct replacement because it's going to be the exact same jack in a lot of cases that you've already got. Right. So what features on this jack, what do you think is the fe best features of this jack? The the sim the simplicity of of how it works, which you know you could say for all type top winding jacks, yeah, uh, that's that's it's probably its greatest strength. One of the good features of it is it has a full twenty four inch rise, so that gets your trailer up higher for people that have the new trucks where the beds are getting higher, the hitches are getting higher. Um, the manufacturers are putting on just more suspension. It seems like on these trucks, bringing them up. Has the pivot already drilled for foot? Or a wheel. Or yeah, you can add add the, uh, an accessory to the bottom. Yeah. Well, a couple of neat details I saw on it is like a real, uh, like the handle on it compared to like the round knob we were talking a little bit earlier about that. If you you know for light duty applications, this will work just great. Uh, again, like the knob may not be suitable for most hands, but one other detail I saw is that if you look at it, how it's connected to the jack, it's a nut and bolt symbol. A lot of times they're stamped together. So if you break the jack or a handle or something like that, you really can't replace it. So this offers a really good um, you can, uh, serviceability if you ever do something to it. Right. Sometimes you break the handle and you kind of buy a whole new jack. Well, this, you know, you know, if you do this again, you don't have to worry about with this one. Right. And also a little smooth, smooth thing with the, the simplicity he was talking about. You got underneath, if you look at right underneath the handle where the, the, the screw goes into it, there's a little washer. Some other brands, some other big brands don't put that washer in there. That actually makes the things a little bit, a little bit easier and smoother. It doesn't make that screeching noise either. Yeah, yeah. It makes it quieter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. So insulation on these, it's pretty straightforward. If you have a two and a quarter inch hole and the triangle mounting the configuration, it's going to fit. It's yeah, going to be standard. The important thing there is make sure your trailer is supported. Yeah. Before you go take off your old yeah. jack. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't want to unbolt the I'm, old one. I'm sure some it's happened to somebody at yeah. some point. So compared to another jack like let's say the Bulldog two thousand pound jack, what do you think there? Seems like just as solid as a jack. I mean there's no yeah. real it's just a straightforward jack. It's gonna do its job. It's gonna it's a two thousand pound jack, but it's gonna do what it needs to do. And yeah. it's probably almost half the cost is the bulldog. For, right. for, for something like that, yeah, there's not really a, a need to pay a premium for something. Yeah, in my situation, I own a farm. I use a utility trailer all the time for many different things, and I'm just hard on it, you know. So it's getting scraped up. It's getting scratched. I'm going to eventually at some point, you know, go over it and touch it up with black spray paint in the places where it's rusting and stuff. So not really worried about like a quality powder coat or anything like that too much if I can get it for a better price so like the Bulldog has a really nice powder coat it has a little heavier um, metal body construction probably and that's why you're getting paying a little more for that one but uh, on this one you know you, if you damage it you can replace it if it's not really damaged and just nicked up and stuff you can you can just spray paint it and go on what do you think the reasons to buy are? Well, it's, uh, as you mentioned, if uh, if you want the exact replacement, because it does come on so many trailers, then there you go. Yeah. If you got a certain uh, lift on it where, you, where a, a flange mounts onto it, if it's retracted height, if you need a specific track, retracted height, this would be a way to go. You, yours may be, your original one may be lower, and sometimes some trailers are drag easier. That might help out a lot that way. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com. And leave us a comment if you have any questions.